What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back once again, and we are going to be talking about another game that does need to be remastered. At some point, we're going to be talking about Gears of War Judgment. Now, if you guys remember this game, uh, it was not the favorite of the franchise. Uh, I did enjoy it. Again, it was not my favorite, but I did enjoy it to a certain degree. So, if you guys remember it, let me know what you guys think. But overall, uh, Gears was a magnificent franchise still is i still enjoy playing them all uh again this story was pretty interesting it's just the way that they did the uh story itself kind of mixed the timeline of what was actually happening uh especially a few days after emergence day and then also we got to see from the characters as well uh being able to play as uh baird of course being able to play as coltrane and being able to play as two brand new characters, which we could see. Well, one of them we get to see later on, which was interesting. Uh, Sophia, for example, we did not get to see. Uh, we got to see Loomis. We got to see uh, Paddock. And we got to see a few others. So what's kind of interesting about this is that this is pretty much like they're literally right in the shit. And, and that's pretty much what Baird was. He was a lieutenant. Uh, before he got bumped down to private again due to uh, he went with his squad to launch nukes to try to save uh, Proswell Bay. And what basically happened was is that they got caught doing this. They disobeyed orders. And, of course, they're going through a – and this is what really got me. They're going through a pretty much a hearing slash being arrested while the world's ending. And I, I've never truly understood that. I was, I, I'm always sitting here and I'm going, you wasted uh, however many hours. I, I'm guessing I want to say five hours or, or more uh, to basically, oh, what did you do? When you already knew what they were doing. And, and I didn't like that. I thought that was really stupid. And they also, again, it was fun playing as this new squad but the way that they kind of did the controls was a little abnormal. Um, these brand new characters that they brought in that I did not agree with. Uh, they should have brought them in either at Gears 3, Gears 2. But they were probably just not thought of at the time when it was released. And again, that's perfectly fine. Uh, they, you know, every game has that issue where you can't think of a certain uh, character until oh it happens and again like Paddock for example Paddock didn't come back till Gears 5 uh, Sophia it was never shown until uh, Gears or Gears uh, 3 where you're playing as Baird and Cole and the rest of the squad trying to basically figure out okay you go back to, to you know Promsmo Bay and you find Paddock and apparently something happened to Sophia she went with him and of course, you know, crap at the fan and everything of that nature. Now, again, this was only available on uh, Xbox 360, so it does need to be a remaster. I think I believe at some point uh, for Gears fans, I think just to enjoy it, whether you like this game or not, uh, it's very diverse in the community. Out of my own personal opinion, again, it did come out in 2013, so it is, you know, roughly, you know, seven. It is more than seven years old, uh, or about seven, or more than seven years old. But I think it does deserve a remaster at some point. Uh, I have discussed very much uh, since I've been talking about Gears of War again on the channel that I think uh, it should get a trilogy remaster at some point, uh, such as 1 through 3, and then Judgment gets a remaster, and then maybe later on 4 and 5, and if we get a 6, uh, that we get a remaster of them later on, maybe the next 10 years or so. But I think that uh, Gears of War Judgment does deserve a remaster at some point, just to kind of refresh the graphics a little bit, uh, redo the controls, just, just the way that Gears was intended to play to begin with 1 through 3. Uh, that was one of the main problems I had with uh, Judgment, also with uh, some of the way the story was and the characters. But again, I did enjoy this overall. This is pretty much a prequel to Gears 1, which is perfectly fine. I mean, I think they were trying to give us this before Gears 4 came out, which I do understand. I mean, because Gears 4 came out three years later, so Gears fans was a little upset if this was going to be the last game and did not do so well. So it all just depended on what exactly I think Gears fans wants, whether you like it or 
or not. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Would you guys like to see this come back as a remaster at some point in time on the Xbox One or Xbox Series X? Even though you can play it on Xbox One if you get the digital code as well. But personally, I would like to see this as a remaster, not as just, oh, you can download it or you can buy it or whatever. I think it'd be great to see it as a remaster along with the other Gears uh, games as well as I've I said many times before. But let me know what you guys think regardless in the comments down below. If you guys need a channel, so about subscribing. Leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed as well as it helps me beat the algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it. Let me know what your thoughts are about this in the comments down below. Did you guys play uh, Gears Judgment? Let me know either way in the comments. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. And of course, I'll see you always in the comments in the next video.